Greetings, everyone. I'm Chuck Stone. Long time no see. I'd like to say good morning to all the star seeds, indigos, star children, earthlings, and whatever the hell else you may call yourself. We are now ushering in uh, the summer solstice, which came in on June 20th, which is the time that I was looking forward to personally myself. Uh, the energies are now increasing, and the mothership of Earth is not rising higher into the uh, into the uh, higher dimensions of where she belonged in the first place before she dropped down in duality. So we're going to experience our amping up of energy, and this may be uh, resulting to uh, memory loss or some type of sad feelings or excited feelings, a roller coaster of emotions, which you're probably already experiencing anyway. It's just that the closer we come to December 2012, uh, the higher these energies are going to become and the more likely you are to experience these things. So depending on how you've been taking care of yourself, your mental body, spiritual body, uh, physical body, emotional body, uh, which all four bodies make up the totality of your being, it's going to depend on how well you do uh, doing this transition. All right, so if you're eating right and exercising, you're doing your meditations and you're breathing exercises, you should be okay. But if you are a person who uh, couch potato, eating fast food and watching a lot of television, you're not going to know the difference between the real reality and the fake reality. And that'll be the reason for why they uh, start the programming of reality TV. Because reality TV was a design so you can be confused about what the real, real reality of reality really is. Uh, for example, they can put anything on the news that can be orchestrated and staged to our God minds to be uh, in a state of fear in most cases because that's what our dog, big brothers and sisters are really trying to shoot forth to scare us and put us in fear. Uh, for example, with this bath salt thing, with this uh, God being in a zombie-like trance, although they've been shooting for this for many, many, many years now to uh, put this in place, uh, subliminal science have been 28 days later uh, Residents of Evil, all the zombie moves that you can think of way back in what maybe the 30s or 40s or something, if that's the correct date from when they first start doing this whole zombie thing. They really wanted to put that in action. So um, this was their attempt to kind of scare it. And I wanted to talk about it before, but I didn't want to bring more attention to it because I do have some type of influence. I'm not saying that I'm some, you know, awesome type dude, but I have some type of influence on the way people are looking at things and y'all do look forward to me doing these Star C videos. So that can easily be staged. So I'm not, I wasn't there. I'm not trying to say it was real or fake, but I'm just simply using it as an example that things like that can be staged in any uh, type of way to get you to believe in it, to guide your mind to believe that that's, that's real. So if you're already caught up in the program of reality TV and you're really liking uh, what they're doing with these TV shows, then you're not going to know the real reality from the fake reality because the reality shows is not reality. They staged and, and, and put together and you have scribes that write, write the words and everything just like you do a normal uh, movie from the cinema. You know, so... Uh, you really kind of have to watch out for that because they are very clever. This is a free will zone, so all things are allowed. So I know you want to look at good and bad things, but it's all about experience. You can put whatever metaphysical label you want to put on them, but the Supreme Creator allows everything because everything is a Supreme Creator on his own journey, experiencing itself and many different aspects and factions of itself in, in our individual selves. So we're all one. That's the law of one. We're all one with every particle and element to the molecular level. Uh, so that's something that we really have to wake up to. Uh, doing the higher vibration of these energies rising up on the mothership of Earth, a lot of people are going to become dis-ease, all right? You're going to become disease. Dis-ease is what I would like to say. And uh, the cancer epidemic is going to grow more and more. And uh, we're going to lose uh, loved ones and friends uh, through the death process. But you got to understand that these people have already uh, agreed to take on this uh, body that they're in that they, of their own design and agreed to take up, up on this reality and go through things that they go through. So it's already a soul contract for what they're doing. So it's really not death the way you've been programmed to believe. Death is really, for me, it's a, just a transition to uh, another realm. But you have to become enlightened to these things and practice, uh, uh, be a devotee to the spiritual, uh, to attain high spirituality uh, in order to really understand it. So if you're still caught up in the 3D mind, all this stuff is going to be uh, very difficult for you to understand a lot of what I'm saying. It's going to just sound like straight bullshit to you. Uh, 
So uh, I think the, the people who are the believers, I would say, who's deep into religion, not giving your guys bad names. If you want to believe in your religion, that's cool. And that's what making you a better person. Believe in it and move on and just take whatever you can take as far as the goodness out of me and whatever don't fit, throw it to the side. You don't have to watch the video, okay? And it's amazing how every time I make a video, I'm always having some distraction in the background, if y'all don't notice that about my videos. It's gonna be a train or ambulance or something, you know? But anyway, um, we just have to uh, just maintain uh, focus on being emotionally happy within ourselves and not be so judgmental on what's everything else of, of what's going on. Because uh, people are going to die, events are going to happen, uh, you know, uh, world changes is going to continue to uh, continue with the earth changes from the rising and the, uh, the uh, lining up of the axes um, for, for t or December 2012. So they're not going to be any uh, astronomical numbers of death and mass death the way uh, everybody is want to predict in, in their biblical predictions uh, as far as revelation goes upon every religion because it's all the same just different factions of it again it's, it's, it's all the same you know for the same uh, agenda you know what I mean so uh, we just have to kind of watch out for these things and just try not to be so judgmental towards others because everybody's on their own individual spiritual path you know whether you like them or not everybody still is evolving you know no matter how low you may think a person is don't allow the memory loss come to a shock to you you're not growing old and you're not losing your mind and you're not going crazy. It's just a typical symptom that we all go through. I was uh, writing a check the other day and I couldn't even remember my own damn name. You know, so sometimes you may walk inside of a room and then all of a sudden you think, now what the hell did I walk in here for? You know, so you have to kind of retrace your steps, walking back and forth, and then all of a sudden it comes to you, ah, I got it, you know, and reason being that your body is going through all types of uh, chemical changes on the, uh, on the microcosmic and um, uh, uh, levels, you know, uh, so things like that are gonna happen. So don't be alarmed, you know. So I know you got a lot of 29, 30 year age uh, beings out there that's swerving down there. <laughs> They're old, and that's that's definitely not the case. So don't be alarmed um, if you're experiencing any any of these things, or uh, muscle aches, back pains, or uh, uh, pricks on the body, uh, tingling on the crown chakra on the top of the head, uh, if you're not familiar with the chakra systems. Um, so this is a very exciting time. So we can uh, look forward to uh, the arrest being taken place, and this is going to be our sign of, ev of events that I've been talking about in the previous Star Seed uh, media videos that we're looking forward to events, not actually dates and time, because time don't actually exist. It just exists in this man-made structure of reality for us to uh, abide by as far as following the rules of how time zones work and being to work on time or being, you know, at to a certain doctor's appointment or something like that on time. It's the only time we really use time, but other than that, it's really illusion. The time, just it just, it just doesn't exist. It's, it, it's not real. You know, so uh, we can look forward to these things and this is going to pop off with new government changes. So it's always a little bit fearful when you're walking into changes, even in your personal life. If you feel you may need to relocate and uh, move to a different zone or area or country, these things, these thoughts are going to come to your mind. Uh, just stay calm and pay them attention and just feel them out. Don't think about it too much. Just feel within your heart center and your third chakra center, your solar plexus. Feel for what's right for you. If this is what's really what, something that you want to consider doing, you know, because eventually we all going to be in the, in the place, exact place where we need to be anyway. You know, because we all on this evolution in every process for ascension. You could think of ascension as um, being a highway a conjunction with many, many roads, many paths that's going every which way crazy, but they all gonna eventually lead to exactly where they need to go. On, on, you know, and when, the, when the final time comes and everybody is gonna transition into the reality of what best fits their, their energy level, their vibrational level within themselves. So there are no wrongs and rights the way we wanna believe they are and how we want to punish people, but these are people with uh, other belief systems. They're all very barbaric belief systems. You know, so like I was saying, you know, we're going to have loved ones that's going to die. People are going to die from the earth changes. So, you know, like I say, uh, the, the, the numbers are not going to be in mass uh, the way the dark forces are, are wanting to because light workers like myself and many others and others that are waking up are realizing the power of thought that they have in order to uh, create their own reality. So together, but us working on being positive in, in every aspect of our life and just giving a smile and not a frown 
You know, that's making the vibration of the earth itself within all cultures of people to rise together as one unit, as one consciousness, as one being. So we're all supreme within our own minds. We all the kings and queens, gods and goddesses. You know, I know some of y'all uh, religious believers don't like for me to say that, but the supreme creator, prime creator, uh, first cause, God, uh, whatever you choose to call it, it doesn't, it's not concerned about judging anything because that's a contradiction of judging itself because it is you and you is it. All right, so that's something that we really need to try to start understanding. It's time to come to new levels of awareness, new levels of consciousness, uh, new, new, new ways of thinking, being more open-minded to these things that are coming about and not criticizing everybody for uh, being disbelieving in something because the truth doesn't require believers. The things that I'm saying don't require for you to believe in. The truth is truth, and I can't say that enough. All right, so the, uh, you're going to have things that's going to manifest in your personal life, all right? But it's all con conjunction to join together to uh, be in the evolutionary path of your uh, uh, design, your personal design. You know, you, you, you look in the mirror, you design that body before you came into the body. You design everything that you're gonna do with your spirit guides, uh, whatever metaphysical name you put on them, it's okay. So this is your life that you all design and you're here to figure out why you make the choice. You've already made the choices. So you're really not making decisions. You're just kind of remembering what you already put together. So you want to see things as a learning process and it's really not. It's all basically just you remembering. You know, even for you guys who are of the uh, higher enlightenment, who are uh, doing your, your special talents and abilities uh, with your skills. Even we are still blind-minded to a lot of the things that are actually going on because we are here in this reality and that's only so much that we can attain because we have a process that we are growing, growing through also and we cannot overshoot our boundaries uh, before the time comes too soon. So. Uh, everything happens in events and not in time sequences. It's, it's in a sequence of events of how things put together. So if you have uh, 10 probabilities and you got eight out of the 10 that is positive and, and two negative, more than likely, uh, for, well not more than likely, it will end up in a positive, it will lock into a positive path. In other words, so that's a simple way to kind of look at it. So if you got six billion people on the planet and all these different paths and everybody decide to uh, uh, you know, become positive on their own path, then you can't help but to create a positive reality because the vibrations automatically raises up and anything that don't meet to that level, it dies off. And that's the reason why people become at dis ease because their, their bodies, their frequency levels are not raised high enough and that don't make them a bad person, that don't make them fucking evil. All right, let's get, let's get out of that shit. That just simply means that they're not the, the, the spiritual level of, 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 of frequency of holding that. They're just like uh, putting a, uh, a one million volts in a hundred volt body, all right? You, you can't handle that much juice unless you're being unless you're highly trained to do such a thing. All right, so let's kind of put simplicity on these things and not make it so complicated. But the human mind has to complicate things in order for it to understand. In every aspect of life, you complicate things more. So then, therefore, you get in your own damn way. But you blame others for what the fuck that you do to yourself. All right. So we really need to get out of that and take responsibility for our thoughts, words, and actions. I can't say that enough. So for those who are you who are new to me, if you fall back on the other Star C videos, you're gonna hear me saying it enough. And uh, I'm, 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 I'm repeating it because it rolls repetition because it's something that's highly uh, recommended that we start practicing in our daily lives. These things are so simple. There's nothing hot tech about this stuff. You know, and for us who are, are using our special abilities in meditation, uh, we still have you know, at least personally speaking for myself, I still feel I have a long way to go, even though people look at me as if I'm so far. But it's just in different levels. I don't look at it as being supreme over another because I'm here to share this knowledge on this extraterrestrial mission. You know, and I don't speak about the whole ET situation so much because that has to happen in its own chronological events. All right. Uh, certain uh, uh, certain events has to happen in order for that to manifest. But what you guys don't really understand is you are the one who can bring this into manifestation faster 